Tonight we're learning some new information about gray whales off the Oregon coast. Researchers at Oregon State University were able to catch them doing all sorts of acrobatics while feeding. K2's Allison Gutlieb is at the live desk. So Allison, researchers have used drone video to follow the whales' habits for seven years now. Deb, that's right. For seven years, the researchers have been watching a smaller group of gray whales who have been feeding right off the coast of Newport. The largest population of gray whales swims right here along the west coast. During the winters, they spend time closer to Mexico. In the summer, many move to the north to feed near the Arctic. One smaller group feeds right here on the coast of Oregon. Researchers from Oregon State University have been observing these whales with drones for seven years. Usually they dive so deep that we lose sight of them from the drone, but these whales are feeding in water basically as deep as they are long. The drones allowed researchers to understand their behaviors, and they found eight different feeding behaviors that change depending on habitat, size, and age. We found that the young, small whales use these forward-moving tactics, so they're basically wiggling forward through the water on their side or on their back, um, and they jaw snap essentially like a little Pac-Man moving through the water. Older whales use a headstand tactic, head down, tail up, like a synchronized swimmer. Another tactic, bubble blasting, which researchers think might be due to buoyancy control. Our analysis, we found that larger, fatter whales in shallow habitat were more likely to bubble blast. Researchers say this study will help them protect these whales in the long run. Going forward, the researchers hope to explore how whales grow up and find evidence of social learning tactics. At the lab desk, Allison Gutlieber, K2 News. Weather.